Hi everybody, it's Derek with the episode of Derek and the Brew and Harry Felix 623 on Instagram. Hope you guys are having a great day. Michigan's being kind of weird, doesn't know what to do. Yesterday was 70s, today we're going from like 75 with rain down to like 50 and then possible snow chances in the mid 30s and 40s next week. So fall's confused. Michigan and the weather's confused right now. That's what we're going with. Today, I think it's trying to rain not too much so I'm not wearing my jacket because it's try barely even trying to rain so i'm going to enjoy it while i can without a jacket hope you guys are all having a great week enjoying the weather where you're at uh and are able to get outside and enjoy the the season that it is the non-scorching temps as i like to think of it right now and non-icy as weather the winter's coming and today i want to talk about being anxious or having anxiety and then worry don't worry and the verses I have for today are out of Matthew 6 33 and Philippians 4 4 through 9 and it's just and even just a biblical story I can't remember where it's at where he says cast your cares on me let me carry them for you don't hold them Don't load yourself with all these worries of the world. I have already conquered the world. So let's start in Matthew. I have the bookmark. Trying to get better at that. Uh, 6.33 says, All these things will be given to you. But seek first the kingdom of his right God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, don't be worried about anything, for tomorrow will worry about itself. It also goes to say, even the birds don't worry about what they're going to eat the next day. God's already got that planned out. So why do we have to fret or worry or be anxious about what's going to happen next? God's already got it planned out for us. We don't have to worry about that, the small stuff, like dinner. I don't know what I'm going to eat, but God's already have... My dinner planned out for me. My ideas for dinner are planned out that I don't have to worry about it in this moment. At this time, I can just live in this moment and focus on him, which right now is focusing on how to speak to you guys. That's that's what he's saying there is don't be anxious. Don't be worried about anything. As long as you focus on me and give me your attention, I'll take care of anything. It's like when you go to a new city and you turn on your GPS and you trust that GPS because you have no clue where to go, but you don't worry about anything else. You just focus on the GPS so you know where you're going because you have no idea. That's what God is saying here. You're in uncharted territory. Don't fret. Don't freak out. Don't worry. I have it under control. I will take care of you. And then in Philippians 4, I think I was starting at 4. Yeah, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Don't be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God and the peace of God which transcends all understandings, will guard your heart and your mind through Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about these such things. So that's where he's like, don't be worried about it. And whatever is pure, good, as I've been saying over the past few weeks, authentic. That's another way to say pure. Authentic. Whatever is true, prove, pure, and authentic, good, trustworthy, honest. Focus on those things. It's like when you go to a pawn shop and you're like, is this real gold? And they go, well, maybe it's like two carats, not pure. You want the good, like high class stuff, it's a little more expensive. But that's what it comes down to, is you want the purely gone through the fire. There's no excess dirt or other minerals in it. It's just gold. That's what you want when you go to some places. And that's what he's saying here. When you're going to God and you focus on him, 
He will give you the pure, honest, trustworthy um, goodness that's already been put through the fire. But the main point of that, to get that, you have to focus on him. As long as you keep your eyes and your focus on him, he will guard you and protect you. Then you don't have to worry. Then you don't have to freak out because then he's going to take care of it. Like I mentioned the GPS, he'll have the GPS ready for you. So you don't have to fret about it. You don't have to think anything about it because he's got it all planned out. Uh, another thing I story that goes with this is a story of, I know I've said it before, but uh, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego who stood up to the king and were put in the fire. And they said, we believe our God is going to protect us because we're following him. He said, follow him and I'll take care of the rest. So we're going to do that. We don't care what you do with us. Even if you throw us in the furnace, we know our God will protect us. And he did. Because in the story, he says, the king Nebuchadnezzar had him turn up the stove, the furnace, like 10 times hotter to where the guards that threw him in the furnace burned up. Saw him walking around, said, dad, we didn't put four guys in there. We put three, pull him out of there. And God protected them so well, they didn't even smell like a bonfire. Like, you know, some winter's coming up, so a lot of fires to stay warm around the fire pits and roast marshmallows and stuff. And you get that bonfire smell. They didn't have that. That's how solid God's protection was over them because they had pure trust and faith in God in that moment. They said, nope, our God has this. We don't have to worry. They even go further to say even if our God doesn't protect us we will not bow to you that's how strong their faith was but they knew God would protect them and so my challenge for you guys this week is if you're worrying about some freaking out about something where is your focus is it on God and him and that true authentic guidance system that he has for you or is it on the world which is all over the map doesn't know what it's doing when we put our eyes on god i reference it like a tuning fork when people go to tune instruments they have a tuning fork that's a same tone every time so that way it's every instrument is tuned to the same sound that's what god is when we tune our focus to him everything lines up but it takes praying daily speaking to him daily that's when what we thought our magnification was on the world and that that gets smaller and smaller and then our focus on god gets bigger and bigger so have your focus on god be magnified was it the, what do i say 128 and have your focus on the world be like five because you got to be in the world somewhat because you're living in it but you don't have to have your total focus on the world. You can see it, observe it, but have your main focus and binoculars set on God because he will take care of you when you do that. And then you don't have to worry about the details. I always like to be in control because my life's been crazy since I've been growing up. So I always like to be in control. So it's hard for me to, with this to like not worry. I always worry when, I, when I'm not in control because then I can't plan it out. But that's what he's saying here. He goes, don't worry about it. I got you. You're my kid. I will take care of you. I will make sure that you are fed. I will make sure that you get a ride. I'll make sure that you have a house to sleep in. But focus on me. Keep on, I'm just showing my whole thing. Focus on me. And this is God saying, focus on me. God saying, focus on me, him, and he'll take care of the rest. And that's what it comes down to. Where is your focus today? Is it on life circumstances, which are crazy, which they can't be for the moment, but then pray, refocus, have God help guide you to focus on him. And when you do that, then you will uh, have a peace, like I talked about, a peace. You'll be like, okay, God, I got it. You're in control. Take over. You take care of the details. We don't have to know down to the microscopic details in life. We feel like we do, 
But that's when we freak out because we don't know the microscopic details, but God does. It's the other way I put it is like the 10,000 piece puzzle where the pieces are like super tiny. God sees that giant puzzle and knows where every piece goes. We can't because we can't see that close. You got to bring out the magnifying glass to look at the picture and then look at the picture on the box and like look what little speck of where the piece goes. No, we can't see that, but God can because he sees it. And he knows what's supposed to take place so that everything plans out. So what we think is supposed to happen, God's like, no, I have something better for you. And so don't worry because I have something better. And when we get that peace, it's when we pray and when we listen and we connect with good godly friends who will help us stay on track and focus. That's what I got for you guys today. It may bring you hope, encouragement, and Maybe even joy, a piece of joy, because now you know that you don't have to worry. You can rejoice, as it said in the word today. Uh, may you all have a blessed week. Take care. But again, I also want to give you guys a chance to accept Christ today. I don't want to leave a week without giving you a chance to accept Christ for those who have it. It's as simple as this. Repeat after me. Lord Jesus, we thank you for today. We thank you for who you are and what you stand for. We ask that you would come into our hearts and you would clean us out, get all the garbage, all the nastiness out of our soul. On that, you would fill it with your joy and your peace and your wisdom. On that, you would guide us from here on out. In Jesus' name. But then I also say for you guys to find good, godly friends who you can have come alongside you as you're starting a new journey, uncharted territory. You've been given this vehicle that's super crazy. You don't know how to work it. So have some friends who know God and can help you on this new chapter you're starting today. And thank you for accepting Christ. Can't wait to meet you in heaven when we get there. Uh, but have a blessed week. Take care and enjoy the day. Bye.